Howdy. Morning. Good day. Ni hao. Well, I'm uh, headed to the hospital again. This time not for me. A friend of mine is having some heart trouble. Actually, a friend of mine's father headed to Starbucks and then uh, the hospital, drop him off some food, check up. Probably not gonna do so much recording around them. <laughs> The weather is shite yet again. Hopefully uh, we can get some respite from the rain in a couple of days, but I think for the foreseeable future, it's gonna be miserable. All right, first step. Get my friend some Starbucks. Thank you. All right, now I'm on my way to the hospital. Running behind. I'm here at the hospital. I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, record on the inside, but hospital's there, Starbucks there. I'm going inside. I'll catch you later. It's Emil's dad that's having some problems, and this is Amanda drinking Starbucks. And so we're just hanging out, talking in the stairwell. And I don't know if you have uh, hospitals in your part of town, but do they hang up underwear? Along the staircase here? This size underwear? Yeah, this size. This is like, look at that hand. That is a, that's a big underwear. And then just, I don't think that's going to dry very well if you just throw it on the ground. On the, with all the ash from the cigarettes. <laughs> Classy. Yeah, my friend's uh, dad is going to have, like a triple bypass or something. He's gonna do it in China. Seems a good spirit though, so the surgery's in about a week. document uh, me and Annie and Eva are gonna go to Shanghai on the 13th and uh, we are gonna register Eva as an American citizen and get her passport and everything situated working on some of the paperwork for that boring stuff boring stuff I'll catch you when I'm finished oh boy did I ever tell you how much I like forms I don't like forms most of this stuff for Eva citizenship's very easy. It's just her name, birth certificate, you know, where she was born, me and Annie's information. But there's one thing they need. Time spent in the United States. Detailed records of that. And they say that they want every single day of my life from birth accounted for as far as where I've been in the United States, where I've been, what time I've been out of the States. Up until probably age of, I don't know, 28, not, that's not a big deal. But golly, I've been a lot of different places. I've got to dig back into my memory and figure out all the places I've been and when I've, when I've been there and back and forth. I'm glad I'm doing this two weeks in advance so that I'm giving myself enough time to prepare. Most of this stuff is easy. But that one question is going to be a fun. Another dismal, dreary day is grinding to an end. Not a lot going on. I got to start planning these days ahead of time. Do this and this and this. Tomorrow I have a uh, a mayoral party. The mayor of Ningbo has invited me 
to go to a dinner. It's supposed to be in pretty good shindig. I gotta wear a suit and everything. That'll be at least something to do tomorrow. My attitude is extremely weather dependent. If it's sunny outside, man, I do feel good. I'm more productive. I got more energy. I seem just happier all around. But if it's dreary outside, like really dreary, I can even do rain if it's like crisp and clean. But if things just weigh on you, it's not quite uh, comfortable all the time. It just gets blah. And it trickles into everything. Some of that has to do with, uh, oh no. I don't think I have my key. Case in point. That's the car. I'm headed back to the office because I didn't grab my key. When I conceived of this vlog, I kind of made a promise to myself that no matter the day is kind of normal, I should at least bring something new into every episode. Whether that you're learning something a little bit about China or a little bit about my life or a little bit about a place I'm visiting. Recently, it just hasn't been a lot going on. I had a couple of people say, why don't you just not vlog on those days? But once you start breaking the consistency, it's like skipping one day at the gym. All you need to do is skip one day at the gym. And then one day becomes two weeks. And pretty soon, we got some of this stuff going on. Advertisement for KTV. One day, I'll show you a KTV club full of debauchery. One day, I'll dedicate a week to Chinese debauchery. <laughs> I don't know if, I, if that'll be good for me. I'd get me in trouble. Oh, there it is. You know what? I'm going to include one Easter egg with this vlog because it's such kind of a <laughs> boring one. Um, it's going to be one clip that I pulled from Ningbo Focus, uh, those episodes that I did in the past that didn't really fit with the Ningbo language sections, but I did upload anyway. When I first wanted to do the show, I knew that I needed segments, right? You can't just do a long form show about one place. It gets kind of boring. So for example, the Ningbo Hua segment, the Ningbo dialect segment, that was one piece of the episode that I thought could chew up some time and then take the person's mind, whoever's watching, and kind of, you know, move it around with, instead of like just focusing on one thing. I figured that each episode could have four components. One, a specific place. Two, a Ningbo language segment. Three, another place. And then four, a snapshot story. The snapshot story would be like a photo uh, montage to an audio track uh, or a narration that kind of told a story one whether it's about a certain event going on in the city or some sort of tip or trick on how to get by in china whatever it was for the demo the first uh ningbo focus episode that we put together for the ningbo television station <laughs> i was trying to get really funny and creative with it so my first snapshot story was actually my favorite almost a stop motion sort of video where i was kind of slicing pictures together and I was moving through the city taking a bus from one place to another and kind of talking about how fun it was to take the bus in China. I haven't published it. I will publish it by the time you watch this because I'll leave a link for it in this video and that will be one of the you know just a little taste of something uh, unrelated to the vlog that I will include uh, in this in this day. I kind of like to delve into the past. I've got a lot of fun stuff that I've produced that has never really seen the light of day. And doing it like this kind of gives me a chance to kind of add a little value to the vlogs and, and do some do some extra fun stuff. Even if the vlog itself is kind of dull, it'll, it'll provide something else to kind of entertain. So check it out, the first ever snapshot story for the Ningbo Focus demo. All right, back at the house. Yeah, Bob is really kicking ass we're trying to get Victoria used to laying in the crib and watching the mobile look 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 look
we named the the characters of this mobile uh, my family that's my sister Becky that's Andrew that's Savannah Victoria. oh that's Victoria and that little one is Savannah and I'm the one flying the plane <laughs> see that's all your family America flying above you Anyways, so while Eva lays down to sleep and Annie lays down with her to try to comfort her along the way, let me give you a couple of updates. You remember that book I'm writing, that children's book? Well, Annie has been translating it into Chinese so the illustrator can actually do the illustrations. The girl that we wanted to do the, uh, the illustrations was really busy for the last couple of months and finally now she's able to start drawing. So that's cool. The Vlogging 101 Part 2 uh, Healthcare. I'm going to be working on that. That should be coming out in the next couple of days. Chinese national holiday is coming up, so I'll have holiday. I'll have holiday for about a week. Anyways, I'm going to do my push-ups. It'll be the end of the vlog for the day. I will see you tomorrow. Jayo, subscribe, comment, like, share. And that's about it. Jayo. guys told me I was cheating on my push-ups. What am I cheating? <laughs> How am I cheating? Can I share a little scare I just had? You see this? This is my four terabyte hard drive. It has all the newest footage that I've shot. Most of it isn't backed up yet. It was sitting right here, right next to the fish tank. And while I was cleaning today, I took off the magnet cleaner and somehow I set it right on top of the hard drive. I almost willingly erased all my video. Stupid. Anyways, I checked it, it's okay, but could have.